especially our cardiacies, the Otomo of Hajira land, and the Elegusi of Ikatea. We want them removed to the back like this, the back of this uh, canopies on the high table. We don't want any vehicle to block the road when the governor and his entourage is coming in. Please, go and remove your cars. Thank you very much and God bless you as you do so. Any mama we any baba we kuka le lata ro.
Bandit Express. Thank you. The governor will see everybody on this. Your Excellency, the State Secretaries and Secretaries to Local Government Area and the Caretaker Committee members, Chiefs, particularly His Royal Lord. His Royal Majesty Obayakini Adeni, a local market leader in Tiosa Local Government Council. Ladies and gentlemen, my name, this is going to be done by, it's another not just one of them. He provides everything. Hand road, well tied, wires are there, and very soon live in comfort. Of an achiever in putting your hands together. Before we continue, we want to commit this program into the hands of the just in the opening prayer. But we thank you for every one of us here for the protection and the favor that you have shown to us. And we say we are not better than all the others, but it is by your grace. Our Excellency. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State in absentia. Honorable Speaker of the House of Assembly. Members of the State Executive Council here present. Special Advisors here present. Secretary to the State Government. The Head of Service. The Chief of Staff. Chairman and members of the Committee on Land Matters, the Permanent Secretaries here present, Chief Executive of Parasitas Organizations here present, Your Royal Highnesses, Obas and Chiefs, the Ballet Women and Men, Party Chieftains, Gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you all to Lekki Peninsula Scheme 2 for the commissioning of 11 kilometer network of roads. This is the first phase of 64 kilometer network of roads designed for the scheme. Lenki Peninsula Scheme 2 has a land area of about 566 hectares. It was conceived in 1995 as part of government's efforts to open up the southern corridor of the state in order to decongest metropolitan Lagos. The scheme provides for 2,618 residential plots with other supporting facilities such as commercial, institutional, and recreational facilities. The 11 kilometer network of roads was awarded in May 1996 to Messrs. Wetip Nigeria Limited with a completion period of 18 months. As a result of irregular payment in the past, the project was abandoned before 1999 with less than 4 kilometer length of roads partially completed. In January last year, the project was resuscitated, and to the glory of God, this administration was able to complete the whole length of 11 kilometer network of roads. 
This road will serve 529 residential plots. This was made possible because of this administration's determination in ensuring provision of efficient and functional infrastructures in all government estates. This equally informed the approval for the construction of another 8.66 kilometer network of roads by His Excellency Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu, the Governor of Lagos State, which will further provide standard ad access for additional 356 allotees. The roads will be completed within the next eight months. Work has already commenced on these roads. It is pertinent to mention that to date, only 940 million naira have been paid by the allotees of this scheme as capital development levy. This is meant for provision of infrastructural facilities. A far cry from over 5 billion naira needed to complete the remaining 53 kilometer network of roads and 3 billion naira for electricity and water supply. Of the total number of 2,618 allotees in Lake Peninsula Scheme 2, 1,200 allotees have not paid their capital development levy, while only 1,074 allotees made partial payments. I am using this medium to appeal to all allotees that made part payment and those that have not paid their capital development levy to please pay up to allow for early delivery of this scheme. Your Excellency, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire management and staff of the authority, I once again welcome you to the commissioning of the first phase of the completed network of roads in Lake Peninsula Scheme 2 while wishing you a pleasant drive through these roads. Thank you and God bless you. To date, it has passed through several military and civilian administrations, but the very first building in the scheme was erected during the tenure of Ashiwaju Bala Ahmed Tirumbu. It is therefore a thing of glory that the dream is now a reality. It is also during this tenure of this present civilian administration that electricity and good road network was provided for in Lekki Scheme 1. Lekki Scheme 1, as you know, is the predecessor of Lekki Scheme 2. It is an established fact that provision of infrastructures, especially good road network, remains one of the basic necessities of life. 
Any government that claims to be alive to its responsibilities should prioritize the provision of good road network among those basic things of life that make life worth living. It is therefore to mention here that our landscape in Nigeria is dotted with a lot of abandoned road projects, mainly due to the promoter's short-sightedness. It is in this vice that one should commend the present civilian administration of Governor Bola Ahmed not only in delivering realistic programs, but also in ameliorating the suffering of the steaming population of locations through the provision of infrastructures. And all of you can see what's happening all over Lagos. I think this house is a round of applause for that. <laughs> At this juncture, I would like to call His Excellency Senator Bala Ahmed to assist the New Towns Development Authority in making the dream of other schemes within the Lekki Axis a reality, especially the Lagoon View and the Abidjo GRA. And I would like to note here, sir, that the award for the contract in the provision of uh, infrastructures in Abidjo was recently awarded to a very reliable indigenous contractor. And I will seize the opportunity, sir, to appeal to our allotees that when they are uh, allocated land, they should, ask, they should pay for the land charges as well as the capital contributions because it is these capital contributions that we use in providing these infrastructures. So there's nobody can, can, can claim to have a piece of land unless he has paid fully for the land use and the capital contribution and obtain a CFO. So, in the same vein, I would also like to appeal to individuals sir, and corporate bodies to please pay their land use charges. Anywhere you go to in this country and outside, everybody who says the good work that His Excellency is doing in the state. And to do this, it is money. All they are saying is all rhetorics. Rhetorics don't build buildings, they don't build roads. So I appeal to individuals and corporate bodies to pay their land use charges so that development in Lagos State will continue. It's important to mention here that at present there is no industrial layout within the Lekki Ekpe axis. I therefore call on His Excellency sir to assist in making the Ibeju, Iberekudo scheme a reality as well. This will go a long way to boost the economic viability of Lagos State particularly on the Lekki and the Beju Axis. Oliver Twist, we are, we can't ask for more. For those of, of us involved in environmental and physical planning spheres, it is a fulfillment of professional aspiration to witness the commissioning of the network of roads at Lekki Scheme 2. The effort of the GM NTD and our team is worth commending. And this is a round of applause for that. They have indeed done us well. Without doubt, everyone who is witnessing this occasion will salute the sense of responsibility and direction of the present administration. It is indeed obvious that this scheme withstands the test of time. Finally, I wish to express gratitude to God for making me a part of this successful story. This is testimony to responsive and responsible governance, as well as a proof of excellent service to the people. Thank you and God bless.
the second, the elegance of the Catalan. Members of the Lagos State Executive Council, the head of service, members of the Lagos State House of Assembly, particularly Onigang of the Kaja, Honorable Adebayo Juladna, the chairman of the Housing Committee on Lands. The Honorable Kola Wale Musba Taiwo, Honorable Adeni Yoyemade, all of you, I must commend our members of the House of Assembly for a legal state for their dedication to duty, commitment to community development, building a good partnership to develop Lagos State, you have dedicated yourself so immensely for this, to, to your jobs, to the extent, the success of this administration is not possible without your cooperation and collaboration. We must always thank you. The chief hostess of today, Mrs. Felicia, Mutele Ola Awufisayo, the General Manager, New Town Development Authority. I must especially congratulate you because since you took over the administration of the New Town Development Authority, you've committed yourself to total development of this area. You've shown a large experience, and yours is not bureaucracy with nothing to offer. A bond of experience and loyal commitment to the progress of the state. <laughs> the Honorable Shakiru Salami, the Secretary of the Local Government, and the, all the members of the Academica uh, Committee here uh, present. Our party leaders of the Alliance for Democracy, particularly my very, very good friend, Chief Tony Giwa, Chief Riwan, Alessian Lawyer, Alaji Lamina, all of you, I say thank you for the support and the glory being given. The executives of the Wet Chief Nigerian Limited, the contractor, handling this project. I know your chief executive is out of the country. He sent a letter of regret because he has to attend urgently to the naming ceremony of a new baby. This road where it is your baby, I congratulate you for your dedication and effective handling of this project. To so our AD Youth Group in Ethiopia, Local Government, Community Development Association, Akerele, the AD Solidarity Group, Yaloja, Market Men and Women here are present, Eshio, Ojo Nitiyo, Balilayo, Aomotino Asuriyo, Mwadi Doctor, Mwadi Lawyer, Mwadi Accountant, Mwadi Engineer, Mwadi Governor, Mwadi President, Eshio. The gentlemen of the press, all invited guests here, ladies and gentlemen. I am indeed very happy and proud to be here today to commission this road. My heart has been filled with warmth, joy of achievement. Our commitment when you came to office is to serve all communities. 
We have a blueprint. Today, what is my joy about? This particular road, since 1995 that this scheme was planned, administration after administration of Lagos State has more or less run away for it. Those who planned it has abandoned it. But with serious commitment, determination, and appropriate fund management, we completed the road network in 18 months at a total control sum of 424.4 million. <laughs> without variation, without missing point. Once again, I, con I, I congratulate the contractor. I will tell you some of parts of my own story to the PDP talkatives. They commenced this road. They started it. And one of their front runners today collected in office. One of them who wants to be governor today collected 370. Nine million for four kilometers of job. Let for sure will and come and answer our query. We will tell the public which one.
anomalies they did in the government. That is why their candidate ran away when he was uh, about to start. And Marwa told him, you are not running in this state, you will never be governor. It has a reason. This is one of the reasons. It's fraud and monumental.
pursue a bound renewal program that aim at rebuilding the bound slums into modern city centers. It was our determination to link the five divisions of the state together through the construction of roads and bridges. We commenced the effort in earnest. We've established residential schemes and expansion of existing ones, strengthen and make them functional through provision of appropriate infrastructure. We have been providing water. When we came into the office, the first thing, one of the first things and foremost that I did is to provide water for, and electricity for Lekki Phase 1.
come again as some of the people who think once they get planning approval for one story building they can go up to two three stories i want you get your proper approval before you start no matter who you are